Hello everybody, Captain Daffodil here. What? What's wrong? It's my superhero personality. What do you mean it looks stupid? I've worked really hard on this. I've even got yellow underpants. What do you mean I can't do it? Oh, thanks a lot. Hello everybody, just Mr. Seeger here. I'm afraid Captain Daffodil can't be with us anymore. He's out saving the world. But anyway, I just wanted to send you all a message to say I hope you're doing okay. I've got a couple of challenges for you and I thought you, some of you might enjoy taking these up. Um, I know it's tough at the moment. We're not in school. We, you're doing some learning at home and I know that's not normal either and it's hard for you and it's hard for your parents. But keep going. Keep your brains ticking over and we'll be back in school eventually and we'll carry on where we left off. It's important that you remember that you are all heroes. I know last night we'll have all gone out and clapped the NHS and our key workers and the doctors and the nurses and all the people who are out there helping us, people working in care homes and everyone else. But remember, you are doing your bit as well. You're heroes because you are staying at home. What is it the government say? Stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. And it's true. We're all doing our little bit to help. And, and it's hard. And we're all feeling a little bit frustrated, I'm sure, stuck in our houses but keep doing what you're doing. Keep making the right choices and everything eventually is going to get a little bit back to normal. Challenge one, get out there into the environment and discover some things that you hadn't noticed before. Birds, animals, plants, flowers, mushrooms, fungi. Get out there, have a look at them, have, find them, identify them, but remember, protect the environment, leave things where you find them. Don't harm any animals or, or, or move them around from their environments. Leave them where they are, but have a good look at them and then use some of the links on the website or look in books or online to try and identify the things that you've seen. Take photographs, take videos, send them in. It'd be great to see them. Uh, just a couple of things as well, thinking about that first challenge. Firstly, uh, it's been really dry for the last couple of weeks. So if you can provide any water, a source of water for wildlife in your garden, particularly birds that's out of reach of cats, uh, because they obviously like birds as a snack, um, then leave that out. If you can provide any bird food in a feeder or even leave food out for other animals such as hedgehogs, then that's a great idea. Uh, also, if you're gonna go out looking for mushrooms and fungi, please don't touch them. They can be very poisonous and they can look very harmless, but that some of them are really, really toxic. So please leave them where they are uh, and don't touch them, whatever you do. Challenge two, send me a video. Just tell me what you've been up to. What have you been doing? What have you been learning? What have you been experiencing? Uh, how are you feeling? How are your family feeling, brothers and sisters? Just to let us know what you've been up to and how you're doing. It'd be great to hear from you. Challenge three. Send us a video of you and your family keeping fit. You know, I realise that I'm really out of shape and it's important that when we've got this time that we can't go out and do other things that we can't do with the normal things that we would do, that we do still try and keep physically active and fit. So if you've been doing Joe Wicks or you've been doing circuits, so you've been out walking, you've been out running, you've been playing football in the garden with your brother, you've been taking your dog out, Whatever it is that you've been doing, even if it's just running up and down the stairs, just send us a video and let us know how you've been keeping fit. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. It'd be great to see what you're doing to keep yourselves active. So here we go. Challenge four. Really simple one, really, but it's quite hard to do sometimes. Simply be kind. I know it's easy to say we're all stuck in these houses and we're stuck in our little worlds, but... It is important that we remember that we're all doing this for the right reason and it's difficult for everybody, especially those people on the front line who we're trying to protect, the vulnerable people who we're trying to keep safe and keep healthy. So do try and be kind, try and be patient with each other, try and be understanding and friendly and listen to each other, talk and really listen, uh, build those relationships and remember to put those devices down, put your iPads down, put your phones down. Put those games consoles away. Just have a little bit of time every day when you are doing something to communicate with somebody else or to help other people because we all need help at this time. And it's really important that we are all really, really kind to each other. So how do you send all these things to me? Well, 
it's really quite simple. All you need to do is to send your audio, your video, to Captain Daffodil at Cartcre... Alright, it's not that address. This is the address that you can send things to. Mr. Seeger at cargreen.org.uk Remember you can send photos, you can send audios, make a podcast if you want to. Send us a video, just send us an email. Let us know how you're doing. Pass on this information. But remember, anything that you send has to be done with the permission of an adult in your house. So please make sure they give you permission first. And please make sure that everything you do is done safely, is done carefully, is done with permission. We miss you all. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Remember, stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives, look after yourselves. Bye for now.